British monarchs have an impressive collection of crowns, from the most luxurious adorned with many rare gems to the lighter and more practical ones. Each has a long story behind it, and sometimes a dark legend. One of the stones adorning the crown of the British Empire is rumored to be cursed. This symbol of power is traditionally used during the coronation ceremony. The monarch leaves Westminster Abbey wearing it, and the stone in question is called the Black Prince's Ruby and weighs 170 carats. However, it is not a ruby at all, as was thought for a long time, but a spinel. The gemstone is so beautiful that over the years no one has changed its irregular egg-shaped form, limiting maintenance to polishing to give it a shine. The story of the Black Prince's Ruby that we know begins in the 14th century when its owner, the Moorish Prince Abu Said, was treacherously murdered by King Pedro I of Castile, and a red gem the size of a chicken egg was found in the folds of his clothes. It was then, as they say, that the curse took effect. The new owner of the ruby started suffering problems with his half-brother who desired power. An uprising began, and King Pedro, who lost part of his troops, was forced to ask for help from the eldest son of King Edward III of England, Edward the Black Prince. The red gem was given to him as a payment for help. However, this did not help the King of Castile for long. He soon met his death at the hands of his own brother. That's how the Black Prince's ruby came to England, and in the 15th century, Henry V wore it in all battles on a helmet. Once he received a strong blow on the head with the sword, but the blade not only didn't damage the king's head, but couldn't even split the jewel. Since then, there has been a legend that the stone faithfully serves only those monarchs who receive it in an honest way and treat it with respect. The legend says that the ruby helped Elizabeth I cope with the Spanish army, and as a sign of gratitude, she ordered the jewelers to make a pendant out of the stone. As for Charles I, he turned it into an ordinary button and got punished for it. His policies led to a massive uprising and revolution, and the Black Prince's ruby ended up in the hands of a London jeweler for just four pounds. They say that this was the order of the Lord Protector Oliver Cromwell, who believed that the stone was cursed. In 1660, when the monarchy was restored, the Black Prince's ruby returned to the royal family and took a place of honor in the crown of the British Empire. What do you think? Will the next owner of the precious stone, King Charles III, treat it with due respect? If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.